Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Windows Longhorn build 3718. Now this is the last milestone 3 build of Longhorn and is more stable than previous builds. It was compiled on the 19th of November 2002 and it has an early version of the transparent window effects we knew in the final version of Windows Vista. At this stage it was known as DCE or the Desktop Composition Engine. Now this is going to be the focus of today's video and I've actually got a physical machine to show you this on. To run this build you need either VMware Workstation 6.5.2 or above but don't go up to 6.6 .6, and just 6.5.0 or 1 will not work. Or you could use a physical compatible machine like my Dell Latitude D610 as I mentioned earlier. And finally, the activation period is exactly one year. Um, and on your computer, I suggest that you set the BIOS date to the 20th of November 2002, as I had to do this to make it work in the VM. Um, now, I, I do hope you enjoy today's video, and let's take a look at this build. So, at the moment, this is virtual box so this won't work but it's just a demonstration to show you how to enable the DCE so as you can see display properties go to settings advanced and here is well you need to first make sure that um, hardware acceleration is up to maximum um, and then obviously down at the bottom here at um, desktop compositing you need to al allow dynamic control now, um, although it says disable now, you'd think that it's on, but it's not actually on at all. It's just very glitchy, um, as we will see with the button on the physical machine. Now, obviously, with the physical machine, you need to make sure the video drivers are installed for it to actually work, and it's only then that you find out if it's a compatible machine or not. So, let's switch over to the laptop and see if it will work on that. Right, so I've done exactly what I did in a VM, except this is compatible hardware. Um, as I say, this is a Dell Latitude D610. We've got two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM and an Intel Centrino processor, um, which is, I can load up some basic information about it now. Um, as you can see there, Intel Pentium M 2.0 gigahertz, slightly more than I thought it was actually, and two gigabytes of RAM. So, look at this. Microsoft Longhorn XP Professional. How interesting. Version 2003. So I presume this is based off server 2003 now. Anyway, so let's just uh, zoom in. Now, as I say, over here on this window, um, after putting hardware acceleration up to maximum, uh, that little button down there, which now says disable now, that is extremely buggy. And you do need to press that quick well you do need to press it quite a few times for it to work just make sure you don't just like sit there tapping it like crazy because then it might work for one time you press it and then you'll instantly disable it again if you press it afterwards so um, you just need to be careful with that button if you've if you're doing this for yourself now over here you can see the primitive transparency as I say this actually it's like the whole window is transparent uh, so it is very different from what we know in Windows Vista and most other modern versions of Windows. As I say though, there are some similarities like you can, um, in Windows 10, in Windows Defender, one of the latest updates, um, the side, well the panel on the side of that is slightly transparent, but it's blurred. So you can see what's underneath it for um, not just the top which we call it, um, top part of the window. Uh, so anyway, you can see here I've got this um, run dialog box open and you can see that in the background there. And you can also see the back end of this explorer window. Um, so it has got transparent effects, except it's extremely buggy. For example, the explorer itself isn't actually transparent. And as you can see, once I move this over the other window, yeah, it for some reason stops being transparent altogether. Um, if I go down here and press disable now, 
Has it worked? There we go. Um, if you press disable now a few times it will come back up again. As you can see I've moved it and it's um, it knows where everything is behind it. I mean it's funny actually because before you even do this the um, side divider is already trans well you think it's transparent but if you put another desktop wallpaper underneath it like I'll do this now um, in fact I've already got it open haven't I there's no point in I've got plug and play open let's close that and let's go to desktop. Shall we change this one to something else, like that nice beach photo, for example? Oh no, it is transparent. Oh, how interesting. So, this sidebar, without even pressing enable, well, I have pressed enable now on the thing, but um, before I even did that, that was already transparent. Like, you can see um, where that island is in the background. And yeah, that's really interesting actually. I never thought the sidebar was actually transparent. But it must be separate from the DWM. Um, simply because before I even enabled it, it was already transparent. So anyway, I believe that wraps it up for this video. Let's take it back to that nice longhorn wallpaper now. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video today and I can't remember which build I'm doing next because I've got the memory of a sieve. So um, I hope you'll have a nice day or morning, evening, night and I look forward to having a look at the next build. Thank you and goodbye.